Hey folks, uh, I thought what I'd do this month, instead of our usual this month at Mantic, we'd use it as a bit of a catch up with Ronnie. So, welcome back Ronnie. Thank you. Hello everybody. Yeah. Thanks for watching. There's a lot going on and there has been a lot going on. So <laughs> the best way is... I we start every video. We, do, I know. <laughs> we always say, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's been busy and he's going to be busy, but, yes, uh, but that's, that's, a, that's a good thing. I think it's a good that thing. That is a good thing. And I, I guess a good place to start is we're coming out of summer now, which has been a huge success. We've had more plastics for our sci fi range than ever before. Yeah, I think that, and it's the first time we've done hard plastics outside of a Kickstarter for it. Yeah. So starting that transition, it's getting that traction around the world. And before every US tournament on a Friday night now, there's 20 of the 24 players having a little bit of a firefight action. It's really just seemed to capture, it's getting some traction. That, yeah. that, that slick gameplay in it is amazingly slick. Yeah. Some new plastics to, to change the meta. Yeah, so that, yeah. it's been exciting. Campaign's just wrapping up, and there's a week or two left of that. That's it. But yeah, I mean, four or five different things. We had the STL campaign, the Frontier, so we yes, yeah. were able to pick up Dead Zone, start printing the tiles and the minis, and if you've not done that, you're a printer. If you're one of those kind, um, you can still go and get it. I think it's up on uh, you know my mini factory or on our, our own website. Yeah. But it's great welcoming that audience into our games. You know, that's what we do. We make great games. People know that. Yeah. If you're a printer and you want to do it, then, then come and join us. So, yeah, yeah, that's been a stunning bit of a summer fun. A little bit of labyrinth just for something completely different. Yeah, just, just, just to throw something else into the mix as well. And that went well. So, yeah, so we've um, we've had a big chunk of stuff coming through the sci-fi summer. I guess we're also known for uh, another sci-fi game as well, which is Halo Flashpoint. So, as you will be aware now, we are starting to ramp up to full launch. And, and one of the things we've done with this is, while we're talking a lot and unpacking and demoing, and we've actually released a few recon games, yes. which is the 4v4 red on blue kind of core set, Yes. a lot of people have, have gone for the Spartan set, yeah. which is the an extra four red and an extra four blue, up, you know, Variant Spartans plus the four elites plus more terrain yeah, plus, plus some extra bits and exactly, the yeah. deluxe board and everything else that's in there. Um, we have not sent a single copy of the Spartan 21. No. We've not unboxed it. No. So that the joy and the surprise of opening that box, if you've been lucky enough to snag one, and we'll talk about that in a minute, um, you're going to find out what's in there. You're going to be first. You know, yeah. that, 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 yes, there's going to be some spoilers because someone's going to get it one or two days before the rest. But just stay off the internet for those two <laughs> days. Yeah. Uh, but we very specifically yeah. wanted to reward with a kind of unboxing moment um, for the people that have, have, have gone out there and bought it on blind faith. I personally think it, it's a really nice touch because in the day and age of videos and internet and everything else, you, you, I think sometimes the, you get you get caught up in the excitement when something is announced and, it, and it's pre-ordered, if you like. But by the time it arrives, you've kind of seen it and it's almost the, the, the shine's gone off it. I think by being able to get that on your launch day, get it home, open it up and see it for the first time, I think it's, it's, it's a nice little touch. And we trying to, you know, we purposely went quiet over the summer yeah. because we had sci-fi to do. We had a Kings of War release as well and the Labyrinth. So we wanted to get to this point in September and then go, okay, September, October, and it's in stores. So yes. here we go. That's an eight-week proper running. And if you're unpacking that box and you know the core of how to play, and I think you've got some videos coming on, yep. and we'll talk about the mat and everything else, you can get playing while there's still some surprises. Yes. There's still how do they play? What does that keyword mean? Exactly. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, did that. Exactly, cool. yeah. And so we're trying to get it so that you can feel familiar with it with still surprises and reveals. Because yeah. what we actually want you to do is unpack it and play it. Yeah. So before you get your hands on it, you, there, there are demos there that you can watch now. There are full game players with uh, with Ronnie and Bo from the Army Painter um, doing a, a, a oddball scenario yeah. so you can get to see how a full... <laughs> Spoilers. <Smoke. laughs> yeah. You can see how the game player works. We're going to have some nice polished kind of how to play videos and things as well. So just because we're not showing you what's in the spot edition doesn't mean we're not showing you everything you need to know. Okay. And I think one of the things in that recon set, and it comes in the Spartan set, which is the paper map. Yeah. On one side is your gaming board. On the other side is a 2v2 demo. Yeah. And everything you need to play, to learn to play is on that. Yeah. And you play these two versus those two. And then if you play the other way around, you've now played all four Spartans. Yeah. So you know what your keywords are. Because we think the gameplay is truly stunning. 
and the respawning, there's laugh out loud moments. And if you want to see that in action, go and watch this short little four or five minute video of us yeah. getting to the army painter. And that yeah. was just a fantastic, yeah, there's a, there's a longer one where I'm smoking Bo's ass, but um, there is, there's a real short one where you get their, their views on it. And we talk about that demo set yeah. and how they learn to play. But is there, you're going to, Put that video out yes. in the next couple of weeks. It should be up by the time you see this. If, it, if it's not, it'll be up very soon. Oh, that's the other page one. And then you're yes. going to do that demo one yes. coming. So you can really go, okay, I'm getting this. Yes, you'll see some Dead Zone hints if you come from that. We're thinking there's a lot of people that have never played Dead Zone. Um, and, but they're going to, you know, you're going to be able to pick this game up. And, and the key is to take people over that hard bit at the beginning of any game, which yeah. is going from the rule book to actually moving figures, rolling dice. But I don't think there's any slicker, faster game out there to do that. No. Um, and obviously, as I've mentioned before, we, we sold out of our our initial kind of like yeah. our plan very very quickly. Um, but we have plans to, to, to well, keep that, the stock Because I think that pattern is being seen around the world. Yeah. You know, um, I think uh, <coughs> we've gotten on increasingly. Some of the distributors that, for example, Australia, they've they've got all of theirs. So it's either now in the retail store or even more. The retail stores have, have sold it and it's now going to the to the fans of the game. So yeah. <coughs> we're now thinking, well, if we can see all that way down, we're happy to go and yes. get a new order. Keep going. the pipeline full. Well, we don't, you know, one of the dangers now is that there's two or three months where it's not in, in stock and yeah. you can't play it. So we're going to put up a second print run alongside all of the new releases. Yes. So there's more coming. You know, we, we always said that. You know, we're, we're a miniatures company and the only thing that makes a game better is more miniatures, <laughs> more rules. So um, we're going to do a video, I think, shortly. With yeah. Me and Andy talking you through the range, what's coming for it, uh, starting with the um, with the first, which is just going to be some, some more mats and how you can expand out your gaming, and then moving into the new miniatures that are going to be coming. And after that, the balloon. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it, plenty more coming. That, that That's going to go up on a, on a website. Yep. We're going to get a second print run. So if you've not snagged a copy, go get one right now. Yeah. Because I think in two weeks' time, they'll be starting to get increasingly hard to find. And if you've if we're at the point where you're looking and you can't find one, go to our website or go to your gaming store and order for the second print run, which will be in early 2025. Yes. So we are at that stage where you know we're starting to say you might not get one in the first print run. You'll definitely, you can definitely get one in the second. But yeah. act now. We are seeing yeah. frightening numbers and frightening levels of excitement in a good way. Yeah. So I guess to summarise it, exciting times, selling well, more coming, and more from us to come as well to show you yeah. what's coming in the future and also to make sure that you're fully up to speed on day one when you get it in your hands and you can get playing. Yeah. Uh, I guess moving on from that as well, we've just recently announced the uh, Forces of the Abyss models, the amazing new uh, beautiful plastics and resins yeah, for, for, plastics, uh, kids. for Kings of War. But yes, stunning. I mean, I just think these are the best the best plastics we've ever done. I don't know. They're just amazing. I mean, the detail on them is remarkable. How much stuff we've got on them. Stunning. Two new units. Yeah. Uh, more abyssally than ever. The Lord of Lies. Oh, what a model. I want I a love job. It. Yeah, yeah, all around, just a stunner. And I think, you know, the Abyss is a big part of our story arc. Yeah. You know, uh, the Abyss, the Vaseleans. So I think it's lovely that we're going to get to go back and, and um, you know, mm. dive into that. Yeah. No so if you're one of the very few people who haven't seen those yet, please do head over to uh, manticgames.com and you can see those. And um, for those of you that have seen it, I'm sure you've probably already pre-ordered it by now. <laughs> um, and I guess moving on from, from Forces of the Abyss in the Clash of Kings 2025 as well, our new um, annual update, if you like. Some exciting stuff happening in that. Yeah, so not, all the usual things you expect, you know, the public, final published army list ready yep. for gaming next year. Any tweaks the rules committees want to put in, it all goes in that book. Yeah. So that when you start the 2025 tournament scene, yep. you've got a clean rule set. It usually kicks off with uh, Clash of Kings in Oz, yep. with Matt and the guys down there. Um, you know, he's the starting gun on that. Um, we've got a little quirk with the dice, which set the internet on fire, <laughs> I think, last week. cal has got a video on it. It's an optional upgrade, and it's a layer on top. And we're just dabbling now with yeah. some different mechanics yep. to just keep the game fresh and fun. Um, if you're a tournament organizer, you don't want to use it, don't use it. But I think when you played with it, when we first put it out to the rules committee, they hated it. 
And then a few weeks later, like, this is cool. And then we went to the play testers, they all hated it. And then three weeks later, like, actually, this yeah. is cool. And it's not, it's not game changing. No. Nope. But it does just add a little bit of freshness and some, yeah. some spice uh, back into that decision process, which yeah. in a four or five year old game that hasn't yeah. fundamentally changed, I think is quite a nice little bit of, um, yeah. of a tweak. So have a look at it, get the dice, get the rule book. It's, it's, it's set up for next year. Obviously, all the changes will go on the companion, that yeah. continues to grow. Uh, your army lists and what have you. So, yeah, exciting stuff. For yeah. King I think it's fair to say with the dice as well is that it's it's not something that's going to suddenly extend the length of time it takes to play the game. It, it doesn't like, add in complexity that makes the game kind of sort of unwieldy or anything like that. It just adds a bit of flavour and a little bit of, you know, a, a bit of something different. Yeah. And, it, and it's, you know, it's in the Clash of Kings. It's yeah. there for a year. Yeah. Like, this is it for next year. What are you thinking about yeah. it? See if you like it. Um, yeah, exactly. I think, you know, if you're having a fun game, I think you'll definitely use it. I think in the tournament scene, I suspect you will, but yeah. it's entirely a choice. Yeah, and it's also fair to say as well, uh, Clash of Kings 2025 book also has some fantastic background in, yes. some beautiful new artwork. Um, so, I, think yeah. so, I think the cover is the best piece of art I've ever done. Yeah. I mean, uh, across the board, that whole episode. Yeah. I've been fortunate enough to have a read through with the, the kind of the, the proof copy before it went to print. And uh, yeah, it, it is it is fantastic. Yeah. So yes, so yeah. go read it. People have been saying they want more of that IP stuff, and yes. I think we've been doing a lot of work to tie up the IP and the story and the narrative. Yeah. You know, uh, it keeps moving on, it keeps evolving, and then we keep having global campaigns where you can affect the outcome. Yeah. And off the back of the Clash book, we have Clash of Kings in the UK as well, yeah. which is happening as we're recording that this weekend. But yeah. as, as you're seeing this, it happened That's previously. Really, yeah. um, and also Nova Open as well yeah. had two bit, really big tournaments. We obviously had Adepticon earlier this year as well. The, the, the Kings of War scene is just growing and growing. Good, good. That's that, that tournament scene. I mean, there were 200 people at the Clash of Kings and there were over 100 at uh, Nova, uh, which is the which is the US Masters and Best of the Rest. So there's yeah. two tournaments at the same time. And um, it, it's lovely. It's lovely to see. I think yes. it's um, it, it's the pinnacle of the gaming um, Kings of War rank and flank fans. Yeah. You know, they, they love it. And there's a lot more people that play in the in their own basements and at home and yeah. not in such a competitive way. But the, the whole scene is thriving. And, you know, we're coming to the end of another stunning year. You know, yeah. we all remember 2020, just after the book launch, we were thinking that was where it was going to go. It took a while to come back, but I think it's, it's back with a force. I'm sure yeah. there's probably been more events. I don't think there's a weekend where there isn't two, three, four events on around yeah. the world. And I think it's one of those games where, um, or, or within games in general, it, we don't always get to see how many games happen in people's garages and local clubs and things like that. But the tournament scene is almost like a like a, it's a bellwether. A, yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a bellwether for how how popular something is or how often it's being how played. How playable it is. Yeah. There's lots of people that buy stuff and exactly. it goes into you and you paint it and it goes on your shelf. Yeah. But if you're seeing people playing, then you know there's, that, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Exactly, yeah. And so, I think what, the big team came or coming, depending on when you're watching, yeah. to, from Spain, France, I think. It, yeah. did, did, did Steve tell me? He'll probably put a comment below about the actual <laughs> number, but something like 12 different countries yeah, are going to be at Clash. Another guy from Argentina, I've seen him on Facebook already heading <laughs> over, so hi. Amazing. Um, yeah, so Clash of Kings and uh, Kings of War is just flying. Monster. Yes. So if you're not already on board with that, never been a better time to get started. Um, moving on from that, I guess we've got some things with more more of a board focus, if you like. Uh, we've got Walking Dead stuff, um, which has just started coming. Sh yeah, just shipped. Actually, if you want to get next week, then shipped. You know, yes. we're shipping the first ones this week. The, the yeah. um, was in the Commonwealth, the, the new releases, that's the way we're up to in the story. Yeah, hey, I was just looking at the painted versions when I was in the office this week. They're looking fantastic. Very exciting, aren't they? And we've just... Yeah. Signed off on next year's releases for that. Brilliant. So, so for, again, uh, more improve. more to come with Walking Dead as well. Um, I'm just looking there. Worms, the board game, is the height here on our, on our table? Selling phenomenally well. Yeah, so I think we did the Kickstarter last year, which was a, a surprise monster hit. <laughs> you know, the fourth biggest, fifth biggest one we've done. It really captured the fun and the joy of Worms. It is a laugh out loud game. I think this is the most playable game Mantic's ever done in yeah. terms of just being out there. It's not miniatures, not hundreds of... You take it out, you, you put your coloured thingies on and away you go. Yeah, We brought in a couple of thousand for retail just for the Europe, UK. This is, this is already in French, it's already in German, it's already in Spanish. They've all got translated copies of so just English language and the US took their own print run. So the UK English language print run was 2000. I think sold out before we unpacked yeah. the container. So we're having to do a second print of that, which is also jolly exciting. But if you've uh, if you've not yet, that is 
bloody good fun. Yes, and obviously the Kickstarter version, the Mayhem version, which has some extra miniatures in, which doesn't change the game, but they look cool. Yeah. There's some extra nice things in there as well. We Five do, and six player option, which yeah. is total Mayhem. We do have a very, very limited few left. We always print a few extra in case there's any damages or things. Yeah. When you, print, you have to do out. a print run, so if we've yeah. got 2,300 backers, we'll do 2,500. Yeah, um, so we have a few of those left. If you want one of those, Get on our website, grab it while you can, because they won't be allowed around for very long. Yeah, I don't know if they're up yet, but when they go up, they'll go. We'll put them in a the newsletter. They will last a weekend. Yes. So if you want that big version, that doesn't get reprinted very often. The retail one will. Yes. Um, grab it when you can. So yeah, good, good, good yeah. steer, Andy. And <laughs> I get it's never too early to talk about Christmas. So we're going to talk about Christmas. Uh, we did announce recently we got some advent calendars coming this year. We obviously last year we had Barroom Brawl, which was a bit of a a bit of a prototype. If you like, <laughs> it was in, a prototype. in terms of a, a well, first, you know, they were first all resins. Yes. So we actually put Christmas hats on the models, mm -hmm. and we it was packed half uh, by our, our, our publisher with six slots, and then we put the six resins in there. And there's certain things about the resins that when you're shipping it all around the world, yeah. that isn't the ideal packaging for it. But we did that trial, and, and, and you know, a number of people was lucky enough to snag a copy. Yeah. Uh, we, you know, This is something we think is going to grow and grow. We're excited about it. We were the first company that did it, in, uh, the first gaming company. Um, and and you know we've got plans to just every year bring one of these out. We're still learning about when do you talk about it? Yeah. You know, how do you get it to the distributors to know they've got enough coming and blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's not as easy as it sounds. You think it's pretty easy. But basically, if you're watching this and you're a Mantic fan, to this year, the Barroom Brawl, which now has new plastic sculpts. They are the original sculpts without the Christmas hats. Yes. They are the, you know, the, the four heroes plus the goblin bouncer and the barman. Yeah. They're in plastic. That's the Barroom Brawl. So if you brought the... Fantasy one last year, yeah, probably don't need that unless you want one of all of it. But that will officially be number one, and the one yeah. that you got last year will be officially issue zero. Yes, collector's edition. Collector's edition, limited edition, and won't be done like that again. But number two is uh, Lost in Space, which is a territory. I say, yeah. uh, fighting against uh, hordes of vermin that are running out. And uh, again, there's a full game in there that Matt's designed, uh, everything in plastic. It looks absolutely stunning. I think the art is just amazing. And yeah. The whole box looks brilliant. We've got some pictures. Andy might whack them up for you. We definitely but will. Yeah. <laughs> watch out for those. We know it's a bit early, but we know it's a bit late because yeah. now, anyway, they're on the sea. We're going to do something with them either on our website or wherever. Uh, you may be able to pick them up from some gaming stores. It's still pretty limited. So if you see one and you want to get one, for this Christmas, we will make sure you've got it in your hands by the 20th of November, yeah. ahead of the 1st of December. So yeah, so you can, uh, you can unbox your Christmas gift very slowly up until Christmas Day. Sure. Um, and speaking of, of nice, exciting days, we've got the open day coming up as well. So that is on the 9th of November, 2024, here at Mantic HQ. Um, there are some tickets still left for that at the moment. I think we've it's kind of hidden away on the website at the minute, so we're making sure everyone knows about it. Yeah, um, and they'll sell out quick. As soon as we go to the big shout-out, we haven't yeah. shouted out about it, they're going to sell. So if you want to get one, and we know there's, there's some people that have done 10 and 11 in a row and not yeah. missed one, so we're down to one a year. So 9th of November, go get your ticket super quick. Yeah. Is it 20 quid? £20 for the ticket includes a goodie bag when you arrive where it'll have uh, up to the value of your ticket in, in goodies, mantic, fantastic stuff inside that bag as well. Um, I'll put a link to where you can go straight to the website and buy the ticket down in the description of this video. I'll be there. You'll be there. Yeah, I'm sure the rest of the mantic team will be there as well. So come and see us. Come and say hello. Um, we're obviously not the draw, of course. The, be the beautiful miniatures and the games are the draw. But yeah, we'll be there as well. So come and say hello. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. It's yeah, she, my, she, my she, first open date as a Mantic staff uh, member. Yeah, okay, so I'll be yeah. on the side of the fence. And we'll probably have, you'll see the epic Warpath stuff will be there. That's yes. going, I think that's almost off to print now. Yeah. First tooling is well underway. So you might, we might have, yeah, we, I think we might have a sprue or two by then. So, some things to show off. Yeah, give me lots to show yeah. off. Halo, you can see all the painted minis. You'll probably see the Wave 2 releases. So Ooh, yeah. there's going to be plenty to have a, have a run out there. Exciting. So... I'm sure there's a hundred things, we, other things we could talk about as well, but this will make it a very long video. So I think for this roundup, thanks, Ronnie. Oh, thank you. Appreciate um, giving some time to, uh, to everyone to let them know what's happening. Um, if you've got anything that you're waiting to know more about, please put a comment down in the comments for this video um, and let us know what you're looking forward to. So thanks for this uh, roundup. We'll thanks see everybody. you next time. See you soon.